How's it going everybody? It's Greg and welcome back to my arcade empire inside of arcade paradise now I'm very excited to be coming back into this game because I grinded the game off camera for about five more hours just collecting money doing daily missions things like that I've moved around some of the cabinets and I found out some very interesting things about the game while I was doing that but first I have to you know tend to business here and unclog a toilet but as you can see up here in this corner I have over ten thousand dollars and I have five hundred and twenty pounds so I, I grinded for that very specific amount because now I have well over enough to get the arcade upgrade right off the bat and I also have enough for a personal upgrade which is one I really want to check out and see because right now I'm currently making about $1,500 a day what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty out all the hoppers and I'm going to activate the upgrade that increases the arcade's fame and I don't know how if it's it'll keep the upgrade over time like is it a 25% increase to fame over throughout the entire rest of the game or is it one of those things where you, you upgrade you get the upgrade which costs 450 pounds and then that's pretty much it or what so now if I buy the advertisement will boost your business's fame and you can actually check your current popularity and your fame right here so I'm I currently have a about a 35 fame so that's not too bad right now as it is but let's go ahead and buy this for 450 this is one of the more expensive ones purchase complete thank you and my next upgrade that I really want is uh, either the manager's assistant because he collects hoppers for you because I have noticed a problem where I've been making too much money and so the hoppers actually hit like max capacity and I have to empty them but now that we have the advertisement upgrade let's see what my well it's still at 35 so I'm gonna go ahead and deposit all the money and then I'm going to go through a full extra day and let you guys know how much more money I make after that. Alright, so the day is over and if we go to our accounts here, our total income for today, instead of it being around like $1,460 something dollars like I was making, I did make $1,700 today. So what we're going to do, since now I have uh, over $12,000, is we are going to finally go and buy the next upgrade the boiler room extension very cool all right so let's buy for 2000 and we should also be able to buy some any like any new arcade cabinets that come our way because i have plenty of money and that's why i got over 10000 just so i could make sure that i was able to buy more and more upgrades so let's go ahead and order this and it should be here tomorrow and it should open this area here I believe since we need the ice cream room key which I don't understand and I left a, a thing in the wash here you know Ashley I Ooh, was just go. like you at your age uh -huh. never applied myself thought I could waltz into any job right when I met your mother I didn't have a dime to my name oh it's so much Her more space had cars and jewelry and rich fiancés she never desired those things but oh it was nonetheless humiliating hold on look Look, oh my I heard about the new extension. That's all open. Apparently things are picking up in Grindstone. Oh, and this is all in the middle. Oh, it's so weird. As a reward, we'll no longer be keeping tabs. Just keep it tight. I'm sure I can trust you to do that. Much. Oh. That that is leaving me alone now. That is good. Thanks, Dad. He kept I think I keep cutting it out, but he keeps like egging me on and I hate that oh here we go okay so we have room for two extra slots here well three new slots for regular arcades one and it looks like three slots here one I can actually customize but these two look like they'll be permanent and then I have the the next door garage over here which looks like it'll open up eventually too I still don't know if eventually we'll turn the laundromat into more arcade space or not but let's go ahead and check out arcade mania see what kind of new arcade machines we'll get and it looks like i can actually buy them all that's what it looks like cyber dance we're buying that thank you all right bought line terror 
Let's buy champ. Let's buy darts. Okay, very fun. And Woodgal Jr. Of course, can't go without the Woodgal Jr. And I have just enough for the final one here. All right, so we have all of the new arcades coming. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is play through the rest of the day. Ah, oh, the bag is full. Play through the rest of the day. And when we come back tomorrow, I know I, I've been reading some things on the, the Steam forum where there's been a glitch with some of the new arcade cabinets. So maybe me ordering all of them at once wasn't a good idea because I, I believe the game is meant for you to get them over time and not all at once. But here we are. And just like that, another successful day at the wash. Today I didn't do anything uh, wash-wise, so I didn't make a lot of money from that, but I still made almost the exact same amount in the arcade as I did yesterday, so uh, I'm, we're about to see how this is going to go with delivering, what, like five different arcade cabinets at once, so let, let's see how this goes, I guess. Here it comes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's cool! What is this, Dance Dance Revolution? That's sick! Okay, so I can only put that in one spot, so I have no choice but to put it here. Oh, okay, so it, it keeps delivering them. <laughs> and then I just sort of pick and choose where they're gonna go. Oh, this is a, a big cabinet. Oh, no. Uh, I should probably put it here because the, the one that's sitting here has been tr struggling. But we should be getting some chat messages today. And we'll see how that goes. Maybe even give us our next sort of goal to get our next upgrade. And I can only put that here. And it, it'll probably cost... I'm thinking the next space upgrade is going to cost me around $5,000. But we'll see. And new chat message. Cool. Okay. So now let's check out our arcade. Oh my god! This is so cool! This is great. Look, look at him go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's smooth. He's schmoovin. Look at him dance. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go ch read our chat messages. Ash, it's Dylan Freeburn. I dropped by the arcade, but you looked super busy. The place looks amazing. Just wanted to say hi, and I was sorry to hear about your mom. Dill, hey. Wow, it's been what, since senior year? How's it going? Great. In fact, I recently founded a little software company. Just the five of us huddled in Terry's basement. <laughs> But we're hoping to get an artist and sound engineer soon. Excellent, let me know if you ever make a, a cabinet. <laughs> you might be waiting a while. Actually, your arcade was kind of an inspiration. Very cool. Who doesn't love games? No, I mean like... You proved someone from this joyless, dead-end town can make something of themselves. That we could build something fun. That we're not all destined for the meat grinder. Thanks, Dill. Means a lot. Good luck with the business. Let me know if I can ever help out. Count on it. No new arcade upgrade or anything like that? No new chat message? Yeah, I have all of the current arcade cabinets. And do I have to make like a certain amount per day to get a new chat message or something? Oh, geez. Okay. New chat message. Thank you. I just had to go to the next day. And the Toilet's blocked! And I gotta empty all these out because if I don't, they fill up. I believe 250 is the max they can hold. Alright, let's read this new chat mess. Oh, it's from Leslie. Okay. Hey, buttface, how's the extra space working out? Great, although I got a strange voicemail from Dan a while back. I think he's trying to relate the didn't have a dime story. It's supposed to be inspirational. You got it a lot, huh? Constantly. When I didn't want to learn flute, when I was in the fourth grade, I didn't have a dime to my name. Or when I didn't want to study law, or when I didn't want to take the job at City Hall. Such relentless guilt. It's like, I get it. You were a waster once. It was worth the hassle in the end, though. Now you're free of all of it. It would have been nice if I had a life in the process. Hey, I had an idea. Turns out there's an unused lot behind the back west wall. Here we go. What would you say a bit more wiggle room? Bring it. I'm ready. Here we go. Done. Usual paperwork and contractors, I'll take care of it. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Only 3,000! Order now? Thank you. <laughs> uh, I make so much money! I make 2,000 a day! It will extend your property out into the space behind your lot, allowing for larger items such as pool tables 
We'll even throw in some vending machines. Nice. This will also increase your arcade's fame. There we go. Now, we're, because of the increase to arcade fame, all that sort of fun stuff, we're going to be making so much money. Oh my god, we got it. it. It's mine now. So I'm going to do two arcade upgrades in one video. Well, I think that's just because I saved up 10 grand. And by the time I actually got around to buying the stuff, I was at almost $13,000. Oh, this is gonna be so easy! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this day play out. I'm actually gonna do the laundromat stuff. I'm gonna get as much money as I possibly can. So that way, whenever the time comes, hopefully I'll have enough money to at least buy one new arcade machine. Because I still have, I believe, two slots available here. One here, and then there's a bigger slot here that only one of the bigger arcades can fill up, like the Line Terror or Zombat 2. So... Hopefully when we get this next upgrade, we'll, we'll see a larger increase in the amount of arcade machines we can put in. Because right now I'm, I'm kind of fill up. I have every arcade you can buy. I don't have every arcade maxed out. And it does turn out playing the arcades themselves increases their popularity and thus making them have an extra bonus to them as well. So the longer I play each game, they have this constant bonus going as well. Strike Gold is broken down. Oh. Oh, t okay. Yeah, we gotta fluck off all the all the bugs. Get the bugs off the... the <laughs> and, and it's fixed. Just like that. You just gotta flick off some cockroaches to fix your arcade machines. Wow. Oh, and Space Race has been broke. How long has this been broken for? Hey, get the roaches. Get the roaches. Squish all the bugs. There we go. <laughs> Okay, I love how everything has like a little mini game to it. It's so fun to me. All right, so this is my final load of wash for the day. It's all dry. Here we go. So let's go ahead and deposit the money real quick. And we'll see how much we made during the day. So we're sitting at about $3,000. So hopefully I'll be able to buy at least one or two new cabinets because now we're going to be coming back and I have another load of wash going. Don't care. It's too late for that now. But we're gonna come back to another upgrade to the arcade. Two arcade upgrades this episode. Ashley, I signed off the extension. Oh, here we go. Good work. Oh, You're we got... finally knuckling down like I did when I started my first business. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm yes, sure. it was just me, a warehouse, and a mountain of ground beef. Yeah, well, you kept the turning down all my advances to make this into the I ever sold. After arcade that, that we wanted. My mother received everything her heart desired. Including two children. Oh, look at the pink lights coming out of there now. Decided to follow in my footsteps. Uh huh. And they both oh strive my for god. Strive on. Look at this. It's huge now. Oh my god. <laughs> in in theory, right? Since now on the the map here, this this is all of the back room space that we have, right? This is it. So, if there's another arcade sort of space upgrade, I'm assuming it will be to replace this because doing the laundry, I'm making like $250, $260 maybe. But doing their arcade stuff, I'm making over like $1,700. So what, what other upgrades could there possibly be? Okay, so there's only four new game cabinets. Well, th three new game cabinets and the Hustler, which is pool. For $4,000, uh, it looks like I can just go ahead and buy <laughs> communists from Mars. Okay. Uh, I'm going to buy the more popular ones. 200 you're the one. There we go. So that's going to be coming the next day. Well, honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and end the day. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get that arcade cabinet right away. Oh, and here it is. Brand new... Let's go. Ooh, and there it is. Looking great. Oh, this is this is looking great. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Like, saving up $10,000 in my off time and stuff, I expected to be able to get one upgrade done and at least maybe buy... I have clean clothes in the dry... Oh, yeah, because I don't care. But I was hoping to be able to at least buy a few of the arcade cabinets, but not all of them. And... I also didn't expect the next upgrade for space to only be 3,000. I, I was expecting it to be like 5,000, so I was going to be like, oh, I'm just going to save up another, you know, 10 grand, and then we'll do it next time. But no, I was able to get the whole other space upgraded, 
So this this looks really really great. But again, we'll have to wait and see till next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the series. I've only uploaded part one so far. Keep that in mind. That's how much I've been playing this game because I just love it so much. Uh, the devs actually commented on that video too, and they were really really nice. Thank you all so much for liking the video and subscribing, all that sort of fun stuff. Oh, and one of the arcades just broke down. Oh, whatever. I I'm gonna I'm gonna leave now. Okay, thanks. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.